What's up everybody, this is Hillbillies here, and welcome back to episode 12 of my Ark Survival Series. Today I figured uh, I just kind of wanted to go around, because I got the base all done up, but now I need dinos to go in it. So I kind of want to fly around and see what kind of stuff there is. Like, obviously a Bronto would be real nice, but I want to try and stick uh, close to home for sure this time. And around this beach there's all sorts of predators and stuff that I might be able to get back quick. I do have the bridge that's over there, so... I'll probably uh, just fly around a little bit and hope that I can find something cool. I never know. There's also, like I said, there's always lots of different dinos spawning, in, and I guess once in a while I'll see something different. And I did try and fly around and look for a oh god, what's the name? I can't remember at the moment. A Quetzal. Um, I went around for a Quetzal, but it was not successful, unfortunately. So I have to kind of wait, and I'm just gonna keep going around and going around until I find a Quetzal or until I find a. T-Rex or another Carno or whatever. I'm hoping to get a Carno. Like, ooh. What's this over here? Here's a Carno right here that I might be able to tame, for example. Let's try this guy. I think I can just run him around the beach and then uh, should be okay. The only thing is, though, uh, I might be able to do it from the top of these rocks. Uh, let me see if I can be successful without dying. Okay, so he sees me and he's mad, but he's stuck on the other side of those rocks. Come on, bud. I just want to see if he'll come and get me, because I don't want to... If I jump off this, I'll screw this up. Oh. Oh my god, it's so sketchy. I don't want to jump off. I have a feeling I'm going to fall right off if I do. Oh, but he's going over there now. Oh, shit, not towards the water. That's not cool. Okay, take it slow. He can probably get up here, though, I bet you. Is he gonna know to though? And it's strange. I can't. I find weird. You can't walk the uh, pteranodons backwards for some reason. I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, that guy's real mad. Uh, let me see if I can. Can I turn around? Oh, that was not working. Okay. Oh god, this is so sketchy. I don't like this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, where is this guy? Okay, he's right there. I gotta stay away from my bird, too. Oh, he's gonna drown in the water, though, won't he? Move him. Oh, God. I'm just gonna try to move him over. Hey, come back here. Goddamn. What? Why is he running so far? I'm gonna turn around, this would be like a T-Rex or one of the huge dinos around, which I haven't actually seen any of them around either. I don't know if they're in the Xbox version yet or not. So, what? What happened to that guy? Alright. I'm gonna keep uh, flying around and hope I can get something, I guess. Well, guys, look who I found uh, a little bit ways down the beach. Managed to get this guy, I found, managed to knock him out before my bird killed him, you can see he's, uh, Pretty, um, he's almost dead actually, like really almost dead. But I think he's the only danger around right now. There's also frogs hopping around that I'd like to go get, but those will kill you if you attack them too. And those huge guys up there with the weird faces, these guys right here. I want to get one of these guys as well. I probably should look around though and see if I can find a, a really high level one. I guess it wouldn't matter too, too much. Because I noticed the ones that I get that are low levels. By the time they're a higher level, because I've been picking their, uh, what to assign, they're always better than the high level ones are. See, this guy's level 1, so he's better than the other one. So I might try and tame them too, but that's not gonna happen right away, because they will still chase me, so. I have to get him hopefully stuck somewhere, or just go up on top of the rock and hope that he doesn't, he can't get there, or he, I tore poor him fast enough, because they just knock down trees like nothing now, so. That's going to be interesting, but uh, give you a little while, and we'll get this guy. It was a female, female level 9 Carno. So, give me a little while, guys, and uh, hopefully it won't take uh, too, too long. Getting close, guys. Just one more. And what's he at? He's at 88. I think it's got to get down to 50, right? 23.50. Oh, these guys are cool. And I did go back to base to look and see if I had a Carno saddle. I don't right now. But I'm hoping that I can go make one quick after, or I'll just have this guy around with me. What I think I'm going to do is, as I keep taming dinos, I'll just keep walking around with them. It'll kind of be like extra protection, just in case. Like, I did have another Carno show up while I was trying to tame this one, but he 
he ran off and I couldn't find him after, so I've, I've really no idea. Also, I'm going to start, uh, I'm really going to need some names, guys, for dinos and whatnot, so any of the dinos at the base, if you've got some names, like this one too, for example, if you've got a name for them, let me know. Oh, man, these guys are cool. So, what are you at now? Well, I should probably leave some food in you. I can take this back, and you have 500 health, 300 stamina, 160 oxygen, and 2,700 food. Weight's all right. Need the damage, movement speed. All right, cool. So let's take him and him, and let's go tame. Actually, wait. I want to see who is a very high level of those big, big, big guys. But where'd they go? Okay, there's one here. All right. So there's this one humping the rock. I could probably get this guy. Is he actually stuck though? Because that would be good. And I have a feeling that I'm, he's going to attack if I get this guy. Hmm. I also don't need my Carno attacking him now and either dying or one of them. Something happening to them. Okay, I can probably hide up on the rocks here. If my Carno stays. Okay, so you need to stay. And I'm going to go up here. Yeah. Just for safety, I'm going to be far up here. Oh, crap. Okay, never mind. I'm going to do it from here, and we'll see how this goes. Okay. So, aim for headshots. Yeah, I got him. And he's pissed off. Oh, God, he's pissed off. All right. I definitely need to hide somewhere. Can I lure him over the rocks? Come on, buddy. Oh man, this is going to be interesting. I've never tried to tame one of these, so I don't know what it's going to be like. But if I can get them trapped at the bottom of the cliff, that might be alright. Probably down here by these rocks is the best spot for me. Okay, so if I stay right here, are you going to come over here and just get stuck? Oh, nice. Okay, uh, let's do this without falling off too. Alright, okay, don't attack, bird. Okay, good. Aha! Defeated by a cliff. Oh god, there. That was a little close. Your head is a little too close. Oh, hello? Well, this works. I'll just sit here and tame him like this, I guess. Um. Where did his head go? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, I think he's about to go down. I think that's what happens. They normally have to run after. I don't remember exactly. Oh god. Oh, oh god, he gets so close right there. Oh no. God, his face is like a pincushion. God, just go down already. Oh. Yes. Perfect. Let's go get him. Oh ha. Not bad. Whoa, wait, what? Uh, who's after me? I hear things after me that's not good. Let's give you all these major berries. And actually, I don't need to give you all those narcos. Just this much, I guess. I think it's major berries that he takes, anyways. Holy crap, this guy is big. Yeah, already starting to tame. And this one is going to take a while, I can tell. So, if you guys don't mind giving me a little while. I might even take the chance to bring my Carno back to base, and then I'll sit there and wait for that guy. Although, I kind of want to maybe keep him around with me, so give me a little while, guys, and uh, I'll be back, hopefully, with uh, one of those big guys. Aha, finally. Managed to get this guy. Took uh, a while, <laughs> to say the least, but he's here. Level 5, and what kind of stats do you have? 1100 health, 300 stamina, 165 oxygen, food's quite high, weight 510, melee damage 218, movement speed 100, so, huh, you have about 200 more carrying capacity than like your average trike would, I guess, so, I'm gonna make the slow progress back to the base with these guys, and then I'll probably go out on another run and see if I can get some more stuff, but I wanna see if I can at least fit that guy inside the base for now. 
Alright, time for the moment of truth. Will this guy, first of all, can I get him to follow me in? I should move this car note first. Bring him over here. Come on. Alright, so he's okay. This guy is quite big, though. Like, quite big. Obviously not as big as the door is, but... The challenge is going to be to get him in there. Come on. Yeah, turn around this way. This way, buddy. Come on. Yeah, here we go. Ho oh, ha, he's in. Nice. Okay, now you stop. Oh, awesome. I could actually put him underneath that too and he wouldn't be too much in the way. Other than for the dinos up here, maybe his head might be in the way a little bit, but that's not bad. Cool, I'm really glad now. I can look at all these dinos I'm starting to get now. Only added two more, but still. I guess now it's time to go and get some more. Alrighty guys, I went for the big guy this time. There's a Bronto kind of messing around near the base here, so I'm going for him. And luckily, he turned around to go get me, and he kind of fell off the cliff, and he's stuck down there. So I'm hoping that he'll stay there. No guarantees, but really, really hoping that he will. I see part of his head there. Oh, yeah, there he is. A little hard to tell from back there when I was hitting him or not. That's the problem, though, is he's kind of getting himself stuck in the wall there, so it's hard to see when he's actually, when I'm hitting him or not. And if I get too close here, his head will poke through the floor and hit me for sure, right? Yes, definitely. Okay, can I hang out back here, maybe? Oh. Uh oh. Can I get can I get back up there with you? Oh, I just made it. Okay, so where are you now? Because I don't want to lose track of you. I'm so determined to get this guy. At least see if I can get him knocked out. That's the first challenge, and then after is the whole waiting for him to be tamed. Oh, I hit him. I hit him. I'm just going to pump him full of arrows and hope that that works. Oh god, he's getting close. Got to move the bird. Oh, that was really close. I'm pretty sure my bird would have just probably died there if I hadn't moved him. Ah, nope, stay up on the rock. This is not as easy as it seems, I gotta say. But you know what? Uh, if you guys give me another long while, I know we keep cutting in and out, but I'm going to work on this guy a whole bunch. And hopefully by the end of this, I will have a knocked out Bronto. And eventually I'll have to save up for like the Bronto platform and everything too, because that would be really cool. Because I definitely want a mobile platform with machine guns all over it, because why not? Oh my god, guys, he just went down. I actually got him knocked out. Holy shit. And he's not miles from the base, so it shouldn't be too bad after. Holy crap, I didn't think I'd actually be able to do it, but he's level 3. So, here's hoping that it's not going to take forever and ever. Tor 4 is pretty high. 11,000 food. 2,100 health. 264 stamina. 150 oxygen. 900 weight. Wow, okay. Uh, 100 melee damage and 100 movement speed. Jesus. And it's very, very, very slow. God damn it. Alright, guys. Give me a while, but by the end of this, I'm gonna have a Bronto. Well, guys, look. Finally got. I brought him back here because he's easier to look at here. And he didn't feel like uh, making you guys watch me drag him back. But this guy's huge. It's so cool to finally have a Bronto. After having spent so much time to make this giant base, it's also awesome to have the... The biggest dino in the game, so that's really cool. Wait, well, there's that Giganto one, I think, too. That's probably, could be considered bigger, I guess, so. I will probably have to build this guy a space now. Like, I think this area here is going to have to be sectioned off, and I'll probably have to build a gate on both sides, and probably uh, a small gate to get to uh, there for now. Like, out to the, the greenhouse and whatnot, because he definitely won't fit in there, at least that I know of. And I don't have enough levels yet for 
a Bronto saddle or the like the actual the giant one, which would be really cool. I'd love to have the huge saddle. That would be the best thing for sure. Also, he's gonna get stuck on him, isn't he? Either way, though, uh, I'm going to probably start worrying about uh, taking this building down. I think I'm going to tear it apart completely, and then I'll use the wood that I get from that to build, like, a one of those uh, spiked walls, basically. Just a regular wooden one for now, and then I'll upgrade it to uh, metal when I have enough resources later on in the future. So I was successful in uh, getting the walls set up here. I've got this side with just a little bit of a space open. Obviously, I'm going to need one of those, uh, the massive gates there at some point on both sides so I can get the Bronto in and out whenever I want. For now, I'm just going to leave it, like, wide open like that in the meantime. Uh, and since I actually have such a large space now, and I still have, like, you know, I could get a couple more dinos, and I actually would like to go and get some. Do I still have all my narcotics and stuff on me? I don't. I should go drop off some of this. Oh, and I have something else to show you guys, too, I just noticed because of the guns on the roof. Oh my god, I'm going too quick. See, if the door's not open, it's kind of annoying, because then you have to go in and open it. But getting in is, like, amazing for doing this. It's, it's wonderful. And, uh, as you can see right over there, there's all the wires are set up now. So I've got the machine gun right above me is hooked up there. The other one on that corner. I actually moved them, too, on top of the door. I think it looks a lot cooler, and if they're, they have a better range, I think, or view and what else oh yes i set up of course i added it so that it continues along this way i need some more but i'm gonna put another machine gun turret in these like two of them one in each corner again back here and i just want to have you know the cables all hooked up so that i can set up things in the future and i like how the cables are much easier this time the way i set it up it goes runs along the ceiling so it's not super noticeable but it's not in your way either that's why i made sure to stop it here so that it's not over top of the hole that's there because that would be kind of really annoying but, uh, otherwise, I'm really happy with how things are going. Hi. I guess he just wanted to see what was going on. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I gotta try and get rid of that guy. I wanna... I wanna shoot him, but at the same time, I don't. And the thing is, um... The turrets don't target the Brontos. Probably for good reasons. They probably take quite, actually, quite a few hits to take down. I would love to test it, though, and just blast them full of machine gun holes. But now that I have the other Bronto... Uh, I've been waiting till I get another level up, which is taking forever, because I want to get the Bronto platform. I just got the Br Bronto saddle. I haven't gone to make it or anything yet, but I haven't gotten the platform just because I don't have enough Ingrams by, like, I think I'm only missing, like, two or three Ingrams, so it's not that bad, but I just, you know, that's one of those things. And once I get it, I really want to get a Bronto saddle with the platform and a Quetzal. I need the Quetzal so that I can go and get all the materials to make the friggin' thing, and I just need the Bronto saddle because I want to ride around with machine guns and shoot things. Because <laughs> why the hell not? I'd love to have like four machine guns or five machine guns or whatever on each side down low and then like a couple up top and then you just walk along the ground with the generators running, blasting everything in your path. I think that would be so much fun. <laughs> Especially since it's a game with dinosaurs. Like really man? Uh, you're going to give me giant machine guns? Fuck yeah, I'll blow up everything crazy oh actually speaking of blowing shit up there is a rocket launcher and i have been debating on getting the rocket launcher i you know it's another thing of ingrams and i have to wait till my level goes up it's so slow right now i think i'm level 79 or 80 or whatever no am i 80 maybe not either way it takes like a really long time what am i up to i'm, I'm level 71 so getting to level 72 is taking a very long time like really long and it's so stupid because i want to get all the next stuff but i can't Although I'm debating, I'm probably going to make the um, that stew that makes you forget everything once I'm able to. And then I'll just reset my Ingrams and get all the cool stuff that I'm missing if I'm missing anything. Because I've been going around and around and around for Quetzals and I haven't found a single one. I don't know what it is. I've gone to all. I've gone to the peaks of every single mountain. I've flown around multiple times. I went online and looked for it. I think it's just a time thing. People say you have to just kind of wait and go around and eventually you'll find one. Like I, I'll try and kill some more stuff. Oh, I've been debating on getting a crocodile and a snake, but I don't know. Actually, I don't know if you can get the snakes. I know you can get those, and the raptors would probably be kind of useful. Although I have carnals protecting my base, so I really don't know. I love this game, though. It's pretty great. Once you start to get set up a little more, I think, and you have to kind of mess with the settings a little bit, otherwise you're going to grind for hours and hours doing 
just the simplest little thing. You have to run around constantly trying to get stuff, and it's really it makes things hard. Just like it's really stupid. Like the greenhouse, the fact that it took me so long to gather stuff with the greenhouse, even with all the settings changed and everything, is just ridiculous. Oh, wait. What's that? He looks like he's getting chased by something. I always have to be so careful. I never want to jump off and just get murdered by something. Uh, what do you have in here that's good for me? I'll take these narcotics and the hide. Why not? Oh, that scared me there for a second. I was like, uh, what? I do need some more Fiomias for the, uh, for that little poop farm that I have going. I need to move the other guy. I need to fix him. Uh, I have Stego here. Jeez, I'd love to go get it. Uh, T-Rexes are kind of far. But you know what? Uh, it's getting near the end of what I would normally be the episode. End of what would normally be the end of the episode. Sorry. I'm, I really ruined that sentence there. Uh, give me a while. And I'm going to go find a T-Rex. I'm pretty sure I'm, they're down around... Uh, they're towards the mountain, but over kind of in their open field. So I'm going to go see if I can find one and kind of lead it off on its own. And maybe it can survive long enough to follow me back to base. So give me a little while. Hopefully, I'll have found one. Well, guys, um, I found one. But I'll be honest, I kind of didn't want to jump off right there because it was stuck there. And it really wants to kill me. But it keeps getting stuck on the rock, and I don't want to jump off. See, like, that is, that, that's, that's, like, too close for comfort right now, to be honest. And I have a feeling that if I shoot you, and I can't get my bird back, I'm going to be screwed. Okay, so just, I'm just going to stand back here where I'm ready to grab onto my bird. This is probably the stupidest thing I've done in this game so far. Nope, nope, nope. Don't leave, don't leave. Get stuck, get stuck. Uh-oh. Where are you? Oh my god, I don't like this. If he hits my bird at all, my bird's gonna go nuts and I'll never be able to get him to stop. <clears throat> oh my god, it's working. Shooting him right in the eye. Okay, so don't... No, don't... Right there. Holy crap. I can't believe this is actually working, although this is one area that there's lots of T-Rexes in, so I'm probably going to turn around. There's going to be another one there ready to wreck me. I'd love to find a white one, too. Like, if I could get a multiple colors of T-Rexes and just run around with that, that would be insane. But the best thing would be a giant Bronto with machine guns all over it with a metal base on top that's completely defended, and then, like, five or six T-Rexes running around following you. Now, that would be the ultimate thing, I think. You know what? Uh, give me a little while. Hopefully I can take this guy down. I'll have to probably go back to some narcotics and hope that he doesn't get attacked by anything after. But if all goes well, I will have a T-Rex when this is all said and done. But oh my god, he takes a lot of arrows. Holy shit. Didn't the Bronto, I don't think he didn't even take this many. Oh, finally. Nice. Wait. Anything around first? Like there's a dillo over there that should probably die. Okay, let's go down and check on this guy. Let's kill this guy first, though, because I don't want to leave and have him start eating the body or anything. That would be bad. Okay, you are a... You're level 19. Oh, maybe that's why it took a while. Nice, that's not too bad. 2,000 health, 500 stamina, 180 oxygen, 3,600 food, 530 weight. That's pretty good. 107 melee and 100. Wow. Nice. Okay. Uh, time to start filling you up with this stuff. If I had a Carno saddle, I probably would have run around and got, tried to get some prime meat earlier, but I just didn't have a chance. So, uh, You have a high torpor. Wow. Okay. That's that's definitely why it took me so long. Or are you a quick tame? Probably. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to take even longer than the Bronto did, so give me a while, guys, but... Before the end of this episode is over, I will have a T-Rex. And then hopefully, I can make it back to the base without a dying. So, let's see how this goes. Oh my god, guys, I'm finally back. I think it took about 40 minutes or so, but I've got my new friend, Rexy, with me. Rexy, just because uh, he's a female T-Rex. You already have another level, too. Oops, I'll change the name. Uh, yeah, this, like, look at level 34. 
I think it was level 26 when I started walking back and there was just so many carnos and like just the con the bugs and what else was there other than the carnos and things they were attacking the, the dillos and everything there were just so many of them though it's nuts I couldn't believe it so I've been pumping melee damage like incredibly on this T-Rex right now look I've got a hundred chitin, end up with some keratin, even hide and whatnot. Oop, no, I don't want the meat. I want all the hide and stuff. Look at this thing, just crazy. And I was worried for a while, there was a lot of encounters that I was like, oh, he's not going to make it, or I'm not going to make it back to the base without dying. And unfortunately, I did lose my pteranodon just for the reason that, wait, what's that? Rockwell Recipes Medical. This simple, immediately jumpstarts your body's natural healing. I, what? I don't know what that's from, but uh, yeah, I was um, I was trying to mine a rock so that the T-Rex could get by, but for some reason my Pteranodon came right close and I killed him with my, my axe somehow. I don't know how that happened, but uh, he fits in here, which is really cool. I've actually got him and him in here, and they still both fit. And you know what? His head level might just fit him underneath here, which would be really cool. Like, the base is really starting to get going. I like this. Like, I've got so many different ones. And, of course, I picked up this little guy here, too, while I was there. He could just happen to walk by while I was taming the T-Rex, so I shot him and trapped him, luckily. One thing to watch about them, they're very good, very strong and everything. They're kind of slow. Not too bad. But, um, when they're attacking, they do a very big swing. So, I had to frequently turn around and go back to the guy and empty his inventory, just because... He kept getting filled up with stone, like hundreds and hundreds of stones, and then he couldn't walk anymore, so I'd have to go and get him and empty everything out, and it was, it's cool though, it, like I'm happy to have him back, and I'm happy to have this T-Rex now, like I feel a lot safer walking around now, like I was literally just walking around, I got knocked unconscious, things would attack me, and then this guy would come in and just wreck everything, like it's so awesome. I can't wait till I can get another level up and get a, a saddle. Hopefully, maybe by next episode, I will do that. Because I think this is where the end of the episode will be, guys. I think this is a pretty good way to end it, is getting this new friend here. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. You know, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you got some ideas for me. Stuff I should be doing. Stuff I should be building. Some more dinos you want to see tamed. Obviously, I'm going to try and go and tame every single one in the game and have, like, one of each kind. If it doesn't lag too much having them around the base like that. Obviously, I need some more T-Rexes for some more, you know, defenses, basically, and some uh, safety when I'm going out uh, around, you know, just around. I could have, like, three or four of them, and I'm pretty sure they just wreck everything. They're very difficult to stop from getting stuck, though, so that, that is one thing to note. But, uh, enough of that, guys. Once again, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.